and welcome to our tutorial on the Customer Information Module. In this tutorial, we will be covering the various features and options that ESC provides to you to help you manage your customers efficiently. You can change and control your options and defaults from the Customer Info drop-down menu and from the System Setup screen under the Customer tab. We'll begin in the Customer Info menu by selecting Enter Credit Ratings. A customer credit rating allows you to keep track of a customer's financial standing with your company. You can color code these ratings and even set a credit rating to prevent dispatches from being created for a customer who has bad credit. The next setting in the Customer Info menu is the Customer Labor Rates. Labor rates allow you to assign multiple labor rates to different customers. You might charge a residential customer less than you would charge a commercial customer, or you may have varying rates based on the customer's location. You can create as many different rates as you need to. Each rate has an amount for basic labor, as well as a helper rate in case you charge differently for assistants or apprentices that are in the field. When you create an invoice for one of your customers and add a labor billing code to it, it will automatically populate the rate that has been assigned to this customer. The next option to mention is the customer sort codes. These sort codes are like categories for your customers. You can create as many as you need and assign as many as you need to a single customer. These sort codes allow you to select only particular customers when generating reports. A sort code may be as basic as residential or commercial, or they can be more specific, such as designating restaurant customers, retail buildings, pet owners, and seasonal customers. The next option in the list is the customer counter. When you create new customers in ESC, ESC automatically assigns that customer an ID number. This counter allows you to set the number that ESC will begin counting up from. You may never need to change this setting, but if you do, be sure to set the number ahead of your most recently used number, never backwards. You also have a job counter right below the customer counter option. This does the same for jobs created in ESC as the customer counter does for customers. The next feature you'll find in our menu is the zip code maintenance feature. This is a cool feature that speeds up your customer entry time and saves you keystrokes. When you're creating a new customer, you simply type the zip code into the city field and hit the tab key on your keyboard. ESC will automatically populate the correct city, state, and zip for this customer. Let's take a look. From the Customer Info menu, click on the Enter Customer screen. Now click on the Add New button on the toolbar to start a new customer. We'll give our customer a name and a street address. But once you reach the city field, type in the zip code. Now hit Tab. Now you can continue past the address fields and continue building your customer. But what if the city isn't spelled the way you want it? Perhaps you want to abbreviate the city, such as ST for St or FT for Fort. Constant construction and expansion can also cause some zip codes and their associated cities to change. If this happens, simply open the Zip Code Maintenance screen and select the zip code that needs updating. Then click Edit to change the city. To add a new zip code or add a city to a zip code, click the Add New button. Now enter the zip code and the city that needs to be associated to it. Then click OK. You can also import all zip codes for a particular state by visiting the File, Utilities menu and selecting Add State Zip Codes. Then select the state you want to import and click Import. Now that you have all of your options set up within ESC, how do you choose your defaults? Open the System Setup screen from your Company menu and go to the Customer tab. Here you can select which defaults a customer will automatically be dealt when they are created. You can always change these when you create the customer or by going back later and editing that customer. But by having defaults selected in ESC, this will allow you to quickly enter a customer into your database so that you can jump right in to creating dispatches or invoices for them while they are still on the phone. If you are going to be generating monthly statements from ESC, you'll want to enter a late charge percentage so that ESC can calculate a finance charge on the statement. If you plan to integrate ESC with an accounting software such as QuickBooks or Peachtree, then you won't need to worry about this amount. You'll also want to assign a default tax code, labor rate, terms, and trip charge to this customer. 
The four default phone labels are what you see on the general tab when keying in contact numbers for this customer. Each phone label will have a drop down list, which you can add to using the fields on the right. Keep in mind that just because you've entered the phone labels here, that doesn't mean that you cannot overwrite those labels when entering a new customer. It is not necessary to make changes to your defaults or to have all of your options entered before you begin entering customers into ESC, but it will help you speed the process up. This concludes our tutorial on the customer information module on the ESC. To learn how to enter a customer, check out our tutorial on how to set up customers in ESC. Thanks for watching.